how to get into the field of cybersecurity. Even if you're an experienced system administrator or network engineer, this video is going to help you. So thanks for tuning in, those who don't know, know me. And also I've been a Microsoft MVP for a couple of years. I've been speaking to MIT, uh, IEEE, NGIT. Yeah, so I'll put the link so you can find out more about myself. Now, going back to the topic of cybersecurity for beginners. In the field, what happens, what you learn is all about end of the day, protection of the data, protection of the machines. And the, one of the basic things you always start with uh, vulnerability management program, vulnerability scanning, and all those things you will hear and learn about when it comes to cybersecurity. Hey, machine got hacked, machine got compromised. Ninety uh, percent you will see cybersecurity folks talking about that. Ninety percent of the time you will see people trying to hack a machine, hack a system, penetration tester do attack on those systems, and there are some vulnerabilities. They get exposed. They can get hacked. You know. So you look at ninety percent of the cybersecurity. Um, which is talking about all these kind of stuff. However, before I get in the topic, I'll tell you that's just the 10 or 20% of the security or information security or cloud security, we do it. So one of the management program is just one piece of that. There's a lot to do. There's a lot needs to learn and growth when it's come to overall security program. So let's start with that. Because All right, so let me share my screen. So if you see my screen here, yeah, I'm going to be focusing on that. So I put this thing on chat GPT. Hey, what is IOC and IOC in cybersecurity? So IOC, as we can see, the indicator of compromise. And how would you, you can read all that, right? We're talking about indicator of compromise could be a malicious IP address. So where are you going to find that malicious IP address? That's one. Unusual network traffic pattern. Where are you going to see that? Suspicious file hashes. How are you going to find out? Anomalous behavior, like user behavior analytics known malware. So if you wanted to get started, I have not seen, I'm not sure if you correct me wrong, if you have to learn about something in any of the boot camps. Um, but that's one of those things, uh, or one of the important things when it comes to um, learning skills. So it's very simple, basically. You know, if you work for a company, basically, uh, you can find out in your endpoint management device or endpoint agent, 